All right, so today we're going to be going over the uh, SCN P25 default installation um, for the server side. Sorry if I sound tired. I'm exhausted from work. So uh, this is more geared towards the server owners and the clients. Um, this is not really for an end user thing. If you're just interested in how it all works, sure. But this is mainly geared towards the uh, people who are asking in tickets for setup help or for the people that are having issues. I know as of recently, um, some people are having issues with the setup. So this is your basic install file. Um, this is what you'll get in your zip on the left side here. And this is my server. Um, just note any IPs or usernames or um, authorization keys, anything you see here, it's already been deleted by the time this uh, video is going to be on YouTube, so uh, just don't try. <laughs> so what we're going to start off by doing is we're going to pop that server uh, server.auth into your main directory. Um, you 100% need this, the script won't work. Without it, you'll see uh, no AF errors on your radio, common thing. So that's going to go in your directory of server config. Along with that, you're going to be pulling in uh, code plugs, config, and voice announce into your main directory. So we'll let those transfer over. And I'm doing this live, no jump cuts, no nothing. Just doing it all live. All right, now this is what tricks up a lot of people. So we have a resources folder in 5M uh, servers. This is a brand new server, by the way. 5M servers already have a resources folder. So what you're going to do is you're going to go into that one. Okay, and again, this is as if this was a brand new server. So I'm going to give you guys a quick tip. I always suggest not just dumping things in the resources. Always make a nice folder like, you know, scripts right and then maybe make one for your cars or make folders right don't 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 just throw things in this folder try to keep a clean file structure so you're gonna go into scripts and you're gonna take your radio folder which is here and you're gonna toss that in scripts and while that's going in we'll take a look at what's in here that's radio scmp25 and watchdog now for most updates that we do um, like every update we roll out, there's pretty much always a change to radio and SCNP25. So when we do roll out an update, um, those are pretty much what you just have to replace. So a lot of this is documented in the README, but we have a lot of people who um, either are visual learners or um, maybe the writing isn't really that detailed. Um, you know, I, I wrote it, so I can definitely say it's probably not the best when it comes to detail. So uh, as that rolls, we'll let that go ahead and upload. I've got a pretty uh, nice little server here. So we'll go ahead and let that roll now. Possibly cue the time lapse, depending on how much I feel like editing. that's finished you are pretty much 100% installed so the last thing that you have to do is go into your server.config or if you use a resources.config which I 100% recommend doing um, I won't show that in this video but you can find it online is you're gonna type in and I'll put it on screen here ensure and then the folder which is radio in the brackets once you do that reboot your server and scnp25 should be installed should be working you can slash set radio agency it's one of the default code plug names and you should be able to bring up your radio no problem um, with that that is pretty much all that goes into installing an SCNP25 instance on your server. I hope this was helpful to some of you out there. I know there's a lot of questions about it. Uh, if it was, drop a like and a comment saying that it helped you out. 
And uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. It helps get our name out there. And as always, have a great day, guys.